Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 1 episode 16 of All American. Uh, the season 1 finale for this incredible show. The title of this epi episode is Championship. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, but yes, we are here. We're back. We're ready for the final episode of season 1, which is something that... I've been craving to get my hands on and yesterday I was like too tired after watching episode 15 because it has been like crazy few days with me going to the bank and doing some other shit. It's been crazy. So I decided, you know what? All American final episode of season one deserves all my time and my energy. So I'm going to recharge and come back and do my reactions. So Yes, I am very, very excited for All American, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am to watch All American with me to enjoy the season one finale. Honestly, thank you to everyone who recommended this show, everyone who has been watching and, and subscribing and, and leaving comments both on YouTube and on Patreon. You guys are amazing, honestly. Your feedback is what, you know, motivates me to continue doing reaction videos for for uh, all the shows that I do. Uh, when I don't get that support in terms of, like, just comments, basically, uh, I tend to, not, like, not be as interested in watching it because I feel like you guys are not interested, you know? So if you haven't dropped a comment about anything related to All American throughout the season, now is the time. I would love to hear your thoughts about this entire first season and, and about my reactions and about all that. I think it will be extremely cool. So yes, we'll do that in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love All American. Uh, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Like I said, un Uncut Reaction is always posted for some Patreon. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. And for now, I think that's about it. Yeah, without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 16, the Season 1 finale for All American. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, hello, my boy. You don't belong here. Oh, no. Is it getting in his head? It's a hard man to track down these days. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> you know what, Billy? Leave him alone, you know? He has to deal with his own thing, and you I know that you have to deal with your own thing, but you're a grown-ass man, so let Spencer be, you know? I mean, with that, I mean that he needs to decide whether he wants to talk to his dad or not on his own, and, like, not for you to be like, oh, yeah, you can't be here, and whatevs, you know? Regardless. Ooh. The... The tension, but I love that Laura is here, still doing her job. You know, good for her. Cops are on the lookout. We can't work them out if you're not alive. Very true, but I hope that that's not the only reason, you know. It, I hope that the well, reason I'm is because touch. you want her then. If I get any word on time, I know where the door is. Ooh. Ooh. But you know what? She's, she has treated you great with nothing but... Like, she has been nice. I mean, at least the things that we have seen, so... Yo, the police ain't just preach out or come after one of us next. Okay, so he's not okay with her taking leadership, you know? I'm just making sure. I don't like this, though. Again! Dude, ahead, days away from championship, we're in football and practice? I thought it was just supposed to be a walkthrough, man. Ain't no chit chat. Run it again! Uh, Ow! Uh, again! Uh, are you hurting your players or getting them too tired for the big game? Let pick your family. Or else you might end up a nightmare. Well, that's true. Is he having conflicting feelings about that? You know, he does have to be a professional. He's playing for this team now. That's what he has to give his, his 100%, you know? It's good that the, hey, the community's like playing it's good that the community's there to support them, you know? Crenshaw. State. Thanks again for the tip. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
I'm glad because she is a recovering uh, uh, addict. So is him. We could, but like, has he taken the steps and all that? Now, I do feel that they are hinting at this couple. I don't. I don't. I don't think I like it because uh, first of all. He has to deal with his own thing, and Olivia has been there to support him, but as a friend, and I truly see them as friends, so I wish that they could remain that. Plus, she's in a relationship with Chris, right? She's so sweet. Oh, oh boy, is, a boy is falling in love, man. But, like, who wouldn't, let's be real? Because she's literally an angel. Uh, but also, like, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't want it. Because, like, I don't know. I want a Spencer and Olivia, so... More other ships, I don't... I'm not really interested. <laughs> I ain't asking for me. I'm asking for Dylan. I was supposed to believe that. <laughs> How much of a break you taking? You need oxygen tank, too? Okay. <laughs> so you don't regret that when I dunk him. Come on, you can trust him. It's not like he's gonna kidnap him, you know? Okay, that's good. I oh, hope girl. that he doesn't get killed or something. Because when characters start getting good, then they die, so. I'm here to celebrate my boy! Yeah! yeah. Let's go, let's go! Let's go. Showing folks when he say Crenshaw strong. Yes, that's one hell of a speed. You know what? As much as as much as the Beverly Eagles deserve this win because they have been working really hard as well, they do too. Crenshaw South Crenshaw Chargers. They deserve it too, you know? Yes, look at my girl! <laughs> Spencer is the only one who's like... This pepper, I'll leave this for us. Yeah, he's so not... Day, to the body here. It's true. It's true. I really don't think he can have it both ways, you know? When I win with the Eagles, which is exactly what I'm going to do, I take all that away from my people. Oh, dude. And I'm not from Crenshaw, so how could I possibly understand? Spencer, that was a low blow. The million dollar life doesn't invalidate everything they say. Sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. No, you didn't mean it like that. So, so much for our differences being what makes us special. Ooh, goddamn. You know what? I understand that, that he feels the pressure of the game, but he didn't really need to lash out on, on Layla. She understands. I mean, she might not be living it because, well, she was born into a wealthy family. And there is nothing she can do about that. But the thing is that she understands pain and loss and neglect and things like that as well, you know? Uh, but Spencer is just projecting his feelings of anger towards her and his conflicted feelings of whether if sh he should let them win or not play at his 100%, which I think he is, but still, you know, he knows that if he wins, he's taking all of that from his community, the one that he wants to help. So it's a lot, you know? You're way back from Lily. You're not about to Lily. keep. keep. Uh, you're not about to kill Coop. And Layla was right that uh, Layla was right also that you can carry the weight of the world in your on your shoulders. Like everybody has problems, you don't need to carry all of them. I say this while I carry every single one else. Everyone else's uh, problems here in my pla in my house. I what about you? You are my brother. That's good. Their problems ain't ours. Very true. All right? Very true, very true. I like this. I like this. 
I like them supporting each mm. other through the hard times. I know you're mad at your pops right now, but you can't. But you lost sight of that man somewhere along the way, Billy. Shit, spill that tea, Laura. That one on the 23 jersey looks like a 35 year old man. Definitely not this one. The, 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 like, there's Jordan, like, to the right on Jordan. The one with the, the, the helmet like this. You know? Looks like a 35 year old man. <laughs> then we can walk off of it with. Oh, look at that! They cheer up down for him as well. Oh, that is good. That is good. Oh boy. You are Crenshaw. If you win, they win as well. Yeah. And you know what? At times, I don't know where the hell the ball is. And like, I'm like, wait, where did it go? <laughs> That was good, I think. <gasps> Why isn't Chris getting up? Oh, come on, man, look at me. I can't feel my oh, legs. Breathe, man. Somebody help! Okay, okay, maybe, maybe it's just like, you know, the aftershock of the... Uh, I am pretty sure he didn't just, like, paralyze him. Oh my god. Oh my god. They didn't even take the- Wait. I, I just want to say the one thing. The... the- They didn't even take the helmet off? Is that another helmet? Okay, I'm worried. He's getting some feeling in his legs. Okay. Keep praying. Man for... I just have fun. That's true. Do what you love. That's true. Do what you love. Yes. That's all I got. It's very true, you know. He has to love what he has. Aww. Oh, baby. What baby? So by now, Beyonce already saying, right? <laughs> Right? Because <laughs> you I, that's the only thing I know about football is that you guys at the mid-time, you guys have a concert. Sometimes it's Lady Gaga, sometimes it's Beyonce, Bruno Mars. Right? So, I'm going to guess they already sing. <laughs> what? Yo, I am out from... I know exactly where Tyrone at. Miss wants me to bring his money tonight. I really hope that you're smarter than this. And that there will be people still loyal to Tyrone. And please tell me that the season is go not going to end with Coop getting shot at or something like that. Because I'm not going to be able to survive that. I just want to say that. Thank you for coming to my tech talk. I told you. I told you that this was a... I told you this was just... <laughs> Why not die? And also, why did Coop say, I'm gonna go to the bathroom? Like, who cares? Why you send her, him that message? Oh. And Beverly trailing by a touchdown. But you, he was always weak. Ah, uh, Tyrone. That's why you all alone. Tyrone, Tyrone, and Tyrone. <laughs> Please, I hope that, that she was smarter than this and hot, got people around. Like, I am like, I'm freaking out, man. I say <laughs> just business. Oh no! Oh shit! Good move! Okay, we got him. Yes! Yes, Laura! Yes! God damn it, but they took a little bit too long to get out of those bathroom things. Because I was freaking out that you were gonna die. It's all over. <sighs> it's over. Wait, 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 what are they doing? 
Oh, they, this is the moment where they kick the ball. See, that's what I was con like confused. Why do they keep? Why do they get to kick the ball? I have no idea. And also, it's like a big thing. Like, how are you gonna miss it? <laughs> oh! Shoot the guy, but blocks it. The ball's off. Oh, 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 oh! She was in love with Billy? If Dylan was my son, oh Billy's. The fuck the fuck you say, man? The fuck you say, man? The fuck you say, man? I am a sweating. I are you? Is that why the deposit? No, the deposits were for, for the grandpa. Uh. Holy bananas! Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode sixteen, the season one finale for All American. I mean, we knew, I thought, at least, not knew, but I thought that the whole secret was that her, you know, Grace and Billy had an affair. That's, that's what I thought. That was all I thought, that they had an affair. That is it, you know? I really didn't thought that, that Dylan was around the age of, like, the affair happened and then she got pregnant. You, uh, that, that didn't that didn't click on me. But could it be because how old is Dylan? Because he if he's been gone for eight years and she was pregnant, or Grace and Billy are lying and it didn't happen just the one time and it happened sometimes before that. Because is Dylan? Is Dylan seven? He's not seven. Right? Because if she gets... Hmm? Well, the timeline could work if he finds out when Dylan is about like two or three and that's why he left and then he left for eight years and now Dylan is between the ages of eight... No, between the ages of ten and eleven. Or 9 and 10. I am confusion right now. But holy mother of all gods. Was that an excellent plot twist. Like. Do I believe it? Do I don't? Do I like. What? 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 Like I, I just. I'm confused. Extremely confused. I'm just letting everything sink in, you know. Um, this episode was really important because it was the championship. And they could have gone two routes. Making them win or, of course, making them lose. 
which, uh, in all honesty, I wasn't, I was really, I was going to be really happy whether if, you know, Chris's team won or Spencer's team won, because I feel like this young man uh, are battling so hard uh, to get to that place, Spencer and Chris, you know, um, that they both deserve the win. You know, I wasn't like, I was gonna be like the audience when they, like the public, when they got in and they applaud to like both sides, Crenshaw and Beverly applaud when Spencer came in because, you know, his part of Crenshaw, you know, through and th through and through. Is that how you say it? Yes. You know, not because he's wearing a another team's jersey means that he's less from that neighborhood, you know? And, like, I'm glad that the audience was able to appreciate that and give Spencer the fact that go do your best. You're still one of us, you know, and we are going to... Um, We're gonna we're gonna fight this, you know. We 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 might be conflicted, but we still care about you and like you know and everything that Spencer has done and how he represents Crenshaw as well. You know what I mean? So it was really sweet. It was very honorable for uh, everyone in the audience to just cheer off for Spencer. You know, I think that was extremely extremely sweet. Um, But yeah, there were some rough feelings, you know, he wasn't sure if he should win for, um, you know, for, if he should win for the Eagles and take that away from, from Kreshan. But I think that at that moment, when we see the, 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 the people just cheer for him, you kind of understood that Crenshaw wasn't going to lose that night either way. Because if Spencer won, they won. If the other, their team, you know, the Chargers, they won, then they also won that night, you know. So it was a win-win for everyone. Um, and I that really, you know, got me very, very excited and happy, you know. Uh, but, like I said, Spencer had a lot of issues during this episode because of that, you know. Uh, understandably so, because he's very... He feels very connected to his community. You know, yes, him living in, in Beverly Hills is completely different. Um, but he truly um, understands the way that is on him, you know. Um, and so he was battling with, like, whether I, I feel like a stranger in this hood. And, like, you know, it's different because now I'm in Beverly But hope, like, thankfully, by the end of it, he made peace with it. Like, for a minute, I thought he left Chris, you know, paralyzed. And I was like, wait, what? And, like, that can happen, right? That can happen with, with this game because it's very physical. And, like, I don't know how they don't end up with, like, broken ribs every single time they play. Right? Because it's so rough. I know that they use these things, but, like, I don't think that protects them that well, Okay. So, whatever. But he, he was a clean cut, right? He, but poor Chris ended up in the, in, in, in the, uh, on the, on the, on the field, just laying there saying that he couldn't feel his legs. Well, hopefully, like, they said that he was regaining some sense uh, of his, of his uh, legs. So that, that's good, you know, um, But I, 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 I was feeling extremely bad for, for Chris, you know. He deserved to be there and to play. But, like, that's part of the game, I guess, right? Um, I mean, he left the ring telling him that, you know, you still belong to Crashaw, you know. And Chris is so sweet. I, I really like him. Uh, I started not liking him, but then, you know, we told we, we see his side of, uh, of things. And, you know, he's really, really sweet. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, later we, you know, they win with an amazing play that, you know, has a, a, a parallel to young Spencer playing his first game. And, and it was just incredible and emotional and so well done. And now this time his dad is there for him, but he knows that his dad is there for him. You know, it's not only that... Um, That he's, you know, just looking at him through the bushes or whatever place he was hiding. Um, 
so yeah yeah i i, I think that it was important for for spencer and i like that that his life kind of is kind of shaping back into being as normal as it can be for him you know whatever normal normal means for every single family you know um and then he's get get gets offer the fact that hey you know all your dreams you know you got out of crenshaw because you know um you needed to be good and the game you know you were playing and there were shootouts and things like that on the games that you were playing so they move him to beverly hills to have an actual opportunity but now his dad who apparently was even better than 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 billy is going to coach the South Crenshaw uh, Chargers. So he's like, I'm inviting you. Come back. Come back to your neighborhood. And you're going to get your NFL game. And I'm going to be there for you. You know? And like, I, I believe that. But I don't know if Spencer is going to say, okay, I'm going to go back and like just move out. You know? I, I, I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but it's definitely a question that he will have to get his mind to it and think about it and think about everything, you know? Um, so we'll see, I guess. We'll see, we'll see. I am, I'm, I'm scared, you know, <laughs> of what he's going to do. Because as much as, yes, like part of the things that um, drove Spencer to Beverly was the chance of becoming better. But you have seen that Crenshaw made it to the finals as well, you know? Um... So he can easily make it to, you know, uh, the finals next year as well. But with the other team, you know, with her, with his first team from high school. So I think that I think he might he has a really difficult job in thinking about what he's going to do. Now, the whole thing with Dylan, I was like, I was not expecting it because Corey was like, yeah, well, these years I never reach out to you and like I never made myself a present father because you know I was I was gonna have to ask you whether if Dylan is mine or Billy's and I was like the hell you're saying I don't know man I don't know imagine if he is you know and like I'm 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 scared but like I wouldn't want that to be true though because like I don't want because technically, well, not technically, but, like, it will be, like, hear me out. This is Dylan. This is a Spencer. You know? And if he's Billy's d son, then that will mean he is a half-brother with Olivia and Jordan. Right? That means that Olivia and Spencer will have, will have like, this, um... Yes, this is me talking about Olivia and Spencer like they're together. I know they're not. Shut up, please. But like that will mean that they will be half brothers for Dylan. And if they date, it's going to be like Riverdale with Betty and Jughead. You know, they also had a brother in common. And like, I don't want that. So I really hope that, that that's not the, the case, you know, but it's going to bring up some drama, I think, you know. Um, yeah. And I know that I talk about <laughs> about uh, <laughs> Spencer and Olivia like they were a couple. I know they are not. I know, but still, that doesn't mean that I don't want them to be. Um, because, like, honestly, Layla and, and, and Spencer, like, have good moments, but then all they do is fight. And, like, Spencer was really like, oh, yeah, well, you, you you, can't understand my problems, you know, because you can't imagine them because you are a rich girl. And the fact that he said that and that he, yes, he then apologized, but, like, that's the thing, you know, throughout the season, he has been saying things like that or been saying things, you know, bad things and then apologizing and then doing something and then apologizing. Not saying that that's not how you work on a relationship, but, like, basically all I'm saying is it is the, I'm rooting for Spencer and Olivia. <laughs> I love Layla, and I love, 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 love that her friendship with Olivia is so important to the show. And I feel bad for her and for everything that is happening to her, and, like, the fact that her dad was, like, 
Okay, so everything got robbed. So I'm gonna replace it. What I'm not going to do is come and see you because probably you're traumatized about what happened. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna replace everything because money is what I have and that's how you fix problems, you know? And, and it's so sad because Olivia, uh, Layla really needed his dad, her dad, right, like, there, right? And I know she didn't say anything to Spencer, but it comes from such a, such a family part, you know, of her um, that... Honestly, it comes with, like, such a deep part of her and his family. And I don't think anyone else could help her than family, you know, than her dad. But her dad, I don't think he even cares about. Like, if, first of all, I wouldn't leave my child leaving alone. Like, I wouldn't do that. And then I wouldn't try to just throw money at the problem and hopefully it gets fixed. That's just not how it works, you know? So I felt bad for Layla. I'm glad that Olivia kind of, like, let things aside with with Layla for a minute. The fact that they were fighting. Because, like, she was like, oh, if that's if that all we do, then is it really worth it? And I was like, yes, this is your best friend. And you're going to go through really cr crappy times. But you, you have to go through them, you know? And you have to be there for each other and at the end she was there for her you know she was so scared when she came in and like everything is was just destroyed and holding her and hugging her it was so sweet you know because Layla really needed that you know um and there is a reason why she didn't want to share her fears with with Spencer you know so yeah N not to be mean but hopefully they break up soon <laughs> Just because I want Olivia <laughs> and Spencer to go. I am bad. I am awful. I know. But I just, you know, I don't know. I really hope that next season we get to see a lot more Spencer and Olivia. I mean, Layla's adorable. I love, love Layla. And I love her storyline. I think the actress is just beautiful and and so talented, you know. And, and, and has really made me fall in love with her character. Um... But, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants. And my heart wants is Spencer and Olivia. You know, what kind of sad. <laughs> um, anyways. So, what else happened on the episode other than the game? Oh, yeah. Well, Billy is trying to, you know, he realized that uh, just as he, you know, went to the NFL and had a career until his knee blew up, blow, you know, got damaged. Um, and then he didn't find him his way. You know, and made mistakes. Now he has to own out to them. And, like, tonight he wins the game uh, at the cost of his family. And, like, was it really worth it? He found, he found out that it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. All the lies, all the things that happened and, like, the cheating and all of that. None of that matter because at the end of the day he had no one to celebrate it with. You know, and, and I think that shook him a bit and like hopefully gets him to um to really dig down on himself and really make um you know really make something out of it you know uh and like laura doesn't deserve that laura is also someone i want to know so much more about next uh season hopefully they give us that um then we have the whole thing with Coop. Oh, for a moment, I thought I'm about to lose my child. I'm about to lose my child and like she's going to get shot at and she's a lesbian and that was going to trigger me because like I like lesbians and guns, they're not a good mix. <laughs> well, guns and any other human being are not a good thing, especially for lesbians on television, man. So I was like so scared, but she had a plan and I was like, oh my God. Is Coop this naive? Is Coop this naive and she's gonna be there? Why did he? she told him that she was gonna be in the bathroom? What? No! Oh. But no, thankfully, it was a play. She was the bait, which is something that I, I was not happy about. And the police took their sweet ass time. You know, the moment that Tyrone walked in and he was like, Oh, Coop, I thought you were weak. Bang. 
the police comes in and disarms him and that's it. Oh, but no. They said, you know what, there's drama here. We need to hear what he's gonna say. Fuck off. I was just scared, man. I was scared. I was so scared that something was gonna happen to Coop. But thankfully nothing happened and my girl got Tyrone out of the streets. But that doesn't mean that there won't be people who are gonna come after her because of what she did. Because she might be called a snitch or whatever. And like, I'm I'm scared, you know. Um, so hopefully we we get to do something else with <laughs> with Coop next season. No more gangs, okay? Just like I'm I'm so scared. I'm so freaking scared. Anyways, loved the episode. It was great. Uh, cannot wait for the next episode. Also, I feel like, and like, I don't like it. I just want to say that. I don't like it. Um, they're hinting at Olivia and Asher. And mainly because I want Spencer and Olivia together. And also, like, imagine if Olivia and, and, and my boy, um, Asher get together and Spencer <laughs> ends up stealing another girl from him. Like, dude. Anyways, but the thing is that I do not want them together. You know, hopefully the writers here know that because just because a male and a female character have some, you know, good moments and help each other, that they have to be together. They can be extremely good friends and they can work on that friendship. You know, because Olivia is there for, for Asher because, you know, she has she has gone to rehab. She knows what it's like. So she's helping him out. And we have we know that helping people, you know, kind of keeps her sobriety at bay as well. So it's a good thing. Um, but then she was also helping the dad. And my boy Asher was like, oh, my God, is she an angel? Which she is, but like... Not your angel. <laughs> so stop it. <laughs> I don't I don't want anything to happen, you know, because it's just I don't want it. I don't want it, you know, and I don't want it. <laughs> I want Spencer and Olivia. Have I said that? Today. No. <laughs> just so you guys know. I want Spencer and Olivia. <laughs> Anyways, uh this episode was great. Like I said, an amazing season finale. What are my hopes for season two? get to see more of Laura for herself, like for on her own. I want to see more of Grace and Laura, you know, kind of like making amends, maybe. Laura was being extremely professional. She got to the home. She knew Coop needed help. And, you know, she was doing her thing, you know. Um, yeah. And that I think that's amazing, right? And then you have, what is her name? We have... Spencer? No, no, no. We have Laura, Grace. I do want to know more about Corey. I really hope that he doesn't leave. We need to know. We need to see more of Coop doing something else other than gangs. And for her to be together with Patient. I will love that. Um, we need to see more of Layla and actually her dad paying attention to her. For like a second at least. Uh, we need more Olivia. Of course, you know, because she's an angel. Um, and we need more of everything, I guess. That's that's what I was hoping for. Oh, and Billy did came back go go back to his dad's house and you know, uh turns out maybe he didn't took the money. I don't think they made that clear if he did or didn't. But it looked like um what's his name? Jordan. Uh was really still training with his grandpa. So maybe he didn't took the, 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 the money. And now Billy is moving back in. Maybe to get in touch with his roots. And with who he is. And try to get his family back. Because that's what Laura said. Was that she will always love the man that she married. But that the present Billy is not the man that she married. So at least she hasn't filed for divorce. So that's that's... A good sign that you might need to work things out so you can be together with your wife. So maybe she will do that. Maybe he will do that. <sighs> Anyways, what else did, did, did it? I don't think anything else happened. Beep, 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 beep. No. I, found for, I already talked about Spencer. 
about Coop, about Layla, about Olivia, about Jordan. Jordan is still, you know, extremely upset with his dad, which is understandable. Uh, Grace has some explaining to do. Uh, oh, Laura Fine. Is that, I didn't know that was our last name. I'm just seeing this right there. Uh, and it says Dylan. Dylan doesn't have a last name on this episode, which is like Spencer James. But it doesn't say Dylan James. It says Dylan. And then Billy Baker. <gasps> the drama. Anyways. Uh, cannot wait for season two. I cannot wait for season two. Uh, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this binge, you know, that I have done for the past few days. Where it has been all all American. And I, I, I've been really happy uh, watching it. Uh, and next is Dawson's Creek, which I am so excited to watch. A uh, bunch of episodes of Daw Dawson's Creek as well. So, yes, I'm excited, excited, excited. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Please give it all a thumbs up if you love All American. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon to watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. In case I didn't talk about something, we can talk in the comment section down below, you know, uh, and continue the conversation about All American. So, yeah. And also let me know how excited are you for season two, for my reactions for season two. Let me know also in the comment section down below. And that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and for your support. You guys are fantastic. But for now, that's it. I'll see you guys next time for season two of All American. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.